The Mornington Peninsula wine region is a picturesque and renowned viticultural area located in Victoria, Australia. With its breathtaking coastal landscapes and ideal maritime climate, it has become popular with wine enthusiasts and tourists alike. Known for producing exceptional cool climate wines, the region offers a diverse array of grape varieties, including Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Shiraz. Join us on our exploration of some of the best wineries and cellar doors in the region. Merrick's Wine Store is a charming shop situated in the quaint village of Merrick's. The store has a rich history dating back to the 1920s, where it started as a general store serving the local community. Today, it offers a delightful selection of handcrafted wines from both established and emerging local wineries. Whether you're a wine connoisseur or a casual enthusiast, your knowledgeable staff will guide you through a delightful tasting experience. picks for the day were the Stilvi Field Blend, Yal Yal Pinot Gris, and the Scorpo Pinsanto, a sweet wine from late harvest Pinot Gris. As you step onto Yabi Lakes Estate, you'll be captivated by the serene vineyards and the tranquil beauty that surrounds you. With a dedication to crafting exceptional cool climate wines, Yabi Lake Winery has earned a reputation for producing some of the finest Chardonnay and Pinot Noir in the region. Their passionate winemakers blend traditional techniques with modern innovation, resulting in wines that showcase the unique terroir and express the true essence of the land. As with most cellar doors, tasting is free if you purchase a bottle of wine. Thus, it's a no-brainer. We took home with us their single vineyard Pinot Noir and the Syrah. Both of these wines are rated over 4.0 in Vivino and are ranked among the top 4% of wines in the world. The breathtaking Point Leo Estate is one of the premier destinations in the region. The vineyard's close proximity to the ocean breeze lends a unique character to their wines, reflecting the true essence of the maritime terroir. Beyond wine, 
Point Leo Estate also features an award-winning restaurant and an art gallery showcasing impressive sculptures and contemporary art pieces. On this visit, we indulge in the three-course lunch menu at their restaurant. For entrees, we shared the Velvet Cherry Tomato Tart, King Crab Caramele Pasta, and the mussel curry. This paired nicely with their Chardonnay and Pinot Gris. For mains, Julie had the lamb backstrap and lamb croquettes. And I had the fried snapper with beurre blanc. For dessert, we ordered the tiramisu shoe the white chocolate mousse with raspberry. The food and the wines were just as beautiful as the scenery. Polpero Winery is an enchanting retreat nestled in the scenic landscapes of the Mornington Peninsula. This boutique winery is known for its unwavering commitment to crafting exceptional cool climate wines. From vine to bottle, each step of the winemaking process is carried out with meticulous care, resulting in wines that are a true expression of the region's unique terroir. Inside, their tasting room is a warm, elegant, and intimate space. It is the perfect setting to appreciate their beautiful wines. Their Pinot Noir is currently rated 4.2 in Vivino and is ranked among the top 2% of wines in the world. We took one home for our cellar. Last but not the least, Ocean 8 Winery. This boutique winery is a true gem for wine lovers seeking an extraordinary experience. The owners Michael and Holly Aylward embarked on several tours of the renowned vineyards of the Burgundy region, which greatly influenced the style of wines they produce. Ocean 8 wines are made with two important principles. How well they pair with food, and how best they describe the Mornington Peninsula's terroir.
while their tasting only consisted of four wines, they were four truly exceptional wines. We brought home a bottle of the Aylward Pinot Noir, currently rated 4.1 in Vivino and among the top 3% of wines in the world. It is now resting in the cellar waiting to be enjoyed at this special moment. And that completes our tour of the Mornington Peninsula wine region. Do you agree with our picks? What other wineries would you have added? Please write on the comments below. Till next time, salute!